Hey guys, so I'm back finally with an other eating challenge, which is a cereal eating challenge. So first I decided to use my favorite cereal right now, which are like golden grams. And this one was a mini one, I've never tried them before, but it should be the same just like cereal. I decided to add some strawberry to it and um, some coconut ice cream plus some uh, whipped cream. So delicious. I choose to eat it with almond milk instead of comic because I'm having a hard time right now with like comic. So I'm more into almond milk but it should be extremely delicious and I can't wait any longer to like eat it. Itadakimasu! Oh first, let me take a picture for Instagram. Everybody is going to be so jealous on my Instagram. Let me tell you. <laughs> Itadakimasu! I just thought like a regular spoon would just not work with this, so I thought I should just go with this. Oh my god. I don't want to like put it all over. It's okay, it's plastic. I've removed like my bed sheets. <laughs> I haven't had cereals in such a long, long time. Mm. Oh God, this is nasty. I thought this was lacking a little bit of sweetness, so I'm gonna add a little bit of like agave syrup on top of everything just to make it extra sweet. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, wow, look at this. Mmm. It's so sweet now. I'm sorry, I have to slurp it, otherwise it's not working. So as I'm eating, I decided it would be cool to do the small YouTuber tag. Small YouTuber tag. Yeah, the small YouTuber tag, <laughs> basically. So I'm gonna read the question from my cell phone. Mm. What inspired you to start making videos? Mm. I would say other YouTube channel and especially vlogs and while I was about to go to Korea last year I was looking for like documentary about Korea and there are not like so many of them but then I was suggested to watch like vlogs like by YouTube automatically so I started to watch like vlogs and I really loved it and it, I found it like so fun and informative at the same time like when I arrived to Korea I already knew everything like where to find anything I needed to and I was even like giving tips to my roommates who actually have been in Korea before me 
<laughs> so I was like, oh, this is cool. And I just like the fact that it enabled me to experience another country. So I was like, maybe I should do my own also. It would be fun for me to do, like entertaining, plus I love editing, plus I could make people have a peep on Paris. How long have you been on YouTube and have you had other channels? Mm, now that's, I mean, how long have I been on YouTube? I've had a YouTube account for like now ages. I don't know exactly when. But I wasn't posting like anything, I was just like peeping, watching and bitch watching like people's stuff. And at first started probably posting... Mm. I first started posting about Law of Attraction. But then I was recording with like my laptop. So the quality was like horrible and I didn't have any editing software. So the video was like, were like 30 minutes long <laughs> of rambling. <laughs> And then when I went to Seoul, I started to want to do vlogs, but I didn't have any software at the same time because I couldn't like, uh, I don't know if I didn't have my laptop, if I couldn't like hack uh, Premiere Pro. So I was basically just recording them with Snapchat and uh, then posting my Snapchat on YouTube. But it wasn't like a really nice quality. I was like putting filters and shits. <laughs> And I really started like YouTube with this new camera that I'm using right now, my vlogging camera, this December. It's about five months that I have my YouTube channel, let's say. Where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in five years? Mm. As this tag reads, I'm like a small YouTube channel, so I'm not making any coins out of YouTube. And it's not like a goal to me of like getting YouTube coins because I have a job. So I cannot be sure on the person that like I'll be on YouTube still like in five years. Because it will depend like in which industry I'm working, but I really like vlogging, so I think that even if I get very busy and stuff, I would still be trying to like make vlogs. It would be maybe less regular in five years, I don't know. Hopefully, I still hope I would have more followers than now, but a little bit more. <laughs> and uh, what else? Like, I don't know, I just hope also my skills would be like stepped up. I would be like a boss at editing. I post at like filming and I'll post like really high quality content and yeah that's how where I see like my YouTube channels in five years. Uh, oops. <laughs> mm. What message are you trying to get across with your video? Mm. Now I don't really think that I have like such thing as a specific message because I'm in the first place doing YouTube channel also for me and um, the message I don't know I don't yeah since I'm doing it mostly for myself I don't like pop my camera and vlog thinking oh I want to send that message to people but at the same time if I could inspire people for something I would like to inspire people for like freedom to just feel free to like express themselves and be themselves and wear what they want and be whoever they want and also to happiness to know that life is really good and life is easy and 
you should follow your dreams, believe in yourself and believe your dreams. That's the kind of message I would like to send, but <laughs> at the same time, it's not like my goal to send that message. Do people from school find your channel? Type, he ain't going to no school. I'm already a grown-up man, I'm working, but let's say, do people from work find it? Yeah, because I post them, I do hardcore promotion on my Facebook, <laughs> so whether, and on my um, Insta story, so whether they want to find it or not, trust me, they do. <laughs> mm. What does your username mean? My username means Zele Wilson, which is my name. <laughs> So it doesn't mean much. I can't go into the etymology of like my family name for you guys. But Zelig, Zelig comes from Yiddish and it means blessed or holy. <laughs> Favorite small YouTuber. Let me check on my phone who are my favorites well I would say Pavla Barov of course because she's my bitch <laughs> this is so delicious and in the ice cream it's coconut ice cream and you actually have like pieces of like coconut in it so you actually can like chew on them and everything, it's so yummy. Honey Kins girl. And I really like her mukbangs. And she's like really nice and fun and I really love what she's eating and everything. So I really often watch like her eating video. I actually just got to know her like this week. I also really like Alondra Christian. I really like, she does a lot of like story times <laughs> and you know I love my story time. Mm. So, to follow like someone on YouTube and to like, like them, I just have to like their vibe. Mm. So that's it, there's only seven questions. I love when the ice cream is like mixing with the whipped cream and cereal and then when I have like a strawberry in the middle My belly is feeling weird, like I'm having spasm. I hope it's just when I'm gonna like burp and not puke. Okay, I think I will stop here. I think we can say I finished and I completed the challenge, right? So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed and to subscribe if you want to see more. Jana, I ended up finishing it.